now. In math, we've been talking about how to add double digits. And there are several strategies that we've learned on how to add double digits. So for instance, if I have the numbers 21 plus um, 33, what strategies could I use to add these two two-digit numbers? What's one strategy um, that I could use? We could put all our tens together. Oh, okay. We could put all of our tens together and add our tens, right? Mm -hmm. So then? And then count all of our ones. So if we add 2 plus 3, that equals 5. And then if we add 1 plus 3, that equals 4. Very good. So my answer is 54. We could do that. You are absolutely right. But what if my number... is more. So I have 2 plus 1 equals 3, and 9 plus 2 equals 11. Is this a number? Does this make sense? It doesn't make sense. So what happens if I can't do that? What's a different strategy I can use instead of doing my, uh, adding my tens and my ones? What else could I do? What's a different one? Nope, that's what we just got done doing. What's a different strategy that we've used this week? We could have one thing where we'll count the tens, we already did that. Uh -huh. But, okay, so the nine, okay, nine, ten. So you circle one piece of the two and add it to the nine, and nine plus one is ten. Yeah. So you have 10, so it's um, 40, so, it, so you have to add the 30 to 1 more 10 and then 40 okay. and add 1. You are exactly right. Let me show you guys what he's thinking in his brain. In his brain, he's making 29. Have we done this? We have done this. Okay. He's making 29. Then he made 12 in his brain. Then what do we see a whole lot of? One. So what are we going to do? Circle 10 of them. So now I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41. So what's my answer? That's what he did in his brain. Does everyone see that? So could we draw a picture and circle a 10 to make a 10? Can we do that? Sure. What's the last way that we've done this week that we can do? Use your hundreds number chart, okay? So if I have 30 plus 14, what number am I going to start on? 30. 30. We could start on 30. But let's start on the other one because isn't the 30 easier to count to? So let's start at 14. Are we going to move one, two, three more? No. No, what are we going to do? 30 more. So we're not one more, it's 10 more. How many times are we going to go down? Three. One, two, three. Three. What's my answer? 44. Does everyone see that? Okay. So we could use our hundreds number chart to help us. Any of these ways is perfectly fine to solve our problem, but you have to decide which strategy to use. Today, we are going to get to see um, stories, math stories. We are going to have to circle important information, and then we are going to have to solve it by making our own number sentence and then coming up with the answer, okay? So I want you guys to help me with this first one. 
So we are going to read this story together. Okay, let's read. Kelly gets six new toy cards. What's important? Their number six. Six. New gets. He already has 18 toy cards. What's important? 18. 18. How many does he have now? What am I trying to figure out? What am I trying to find? The sum of what? What does he have? Toy cars. Toy cars. So I'm looking at toy cars. But you guys are already right because we know how many cars we have. So we're trying to find toy cars. How many did he already have first? He had 18 first. Did we highlight 18? Yes. Because we knew that that was a, a, an important number. But he gets Eight, six, how many six. more? He gets six more. Okay. So is more an important word? Yes. Yes, it is. So how can I solve my problem? Which strategy could we use to solve our problem? Could we draw a picture? Yeah. Sure. Let's draw a picture on this one. Since we have the room, let's draw a picture. What are we going to draw first? 18. 18. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Hey, how am I going to stay nice and organized? How am I going to stay nice and organized? Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of space, but I'm going to put six beside it. One, two, Three, four, five, six. What do I notice? There's a lot of ones. There's a lot of ones. What am I going to do? Circle ten. I'm going to circle ten. Okay. So now, when I count, how many tens do I have? Twenty. I have twenty, which is two tens. Are you ready? 10, 20, 21. What's my answer? So I turn 20 plus 4, which equals 24. Okay? What did I do? What was my strategy? To make 10. You are exactly right. So on the line, I'm going to write my strategy, make 10. Did I use my hundreds number chart? No, no I didn't. I could have. Could I still go back and check it? Yes, yes I could. Did I um, use my hundreds number chart to count to tens? Yes. No, but I could have. Did I add my tens? And then my ones? No. no, but I could have. Okay, so it depends on which strategy you use. You can use any of these three strategies, but you have to be able to write what you did on the line. What did we do first, Grace? We circled 10. We circled 10. So that was my strategy. Does that make sense? Okay, so my other strategy is I could use the hundred number chart to go more, or I can add my tens and then my ones. Does everyone remember the three strategies that we learned this week? Yeah. Because you're going to have to explain which strategy you use.